friends, running kimono here. We have a midweek haul. We have a bit of Walgreens and Dollar General pennies. Uh, stuff that's being put on the floor that's a penny that I thought I would share with you. First thing I want to talk about, um, photo of Gizmo. He wishes you all a very happy Wednesday. But there's something about this photo if you study it very carefully. I know this has nothing to do with couponing, but it has something to do with the store. Does he not look like those exact plates at the Dollar General? They have this new dog party section and it's all like cute pet stuff. But I think his smile was emulated on that plate. In the comments down below, let me know what you think or am I completely wrong? But they both have the same smile. Hmm. <laughs> Hope you guys are laughing. Okay, so first thing I want to talk about is uh, there was a dollar digital that was attaching for the Kleenex making this little three pack for free over at the Dollar General and at Walgreens. And yesterday around one o'clock ish, it stopped working at both stores. So especially for Dollar General shoppers, if you're going to throw it in your matchup or if you were just going to pay 49 cents over at Walgreens. It's not working, guys. Deal is done. They pulled the coupon. It's not working with these items. So sorry. Okay, first deal we're going to look at is a seven back when you spend 20 on nice, like Walgreens, nice brand products. And um, I got exactly a $20 basket. Now, this is something that interests me. It is these nine counts of this toilet paper, and it's very similar to Angel Soft. And it is a buy one, get one 50% off. I'll show you the tag, and you can get this through the app. I recommend to do it as a curbside pickup so you can use a coupon code and save even more money. So throwing six of them into a basket, it's $22.50 using the code WAG10. 225 melting off right there so that's nothing to sneeze at so looking at the overall basket 2250 you have your booster loaded which is seven back when you spend 20 225 melting off with wag 10 free curbside pickup oof some tax there so with your debit card you're going to pay 2147 and then i got back eight so sometimes they give you a little bit more i'm supposed to get back seven I got an extra dollar back, but I'm not going to complain about that. So what this shakes it out to is like um, $2 and some change uh, per toilet paper. And these are nine counts, so I'm okay with that. Now, if you don't like what I found, um, you can always go through the Walgreens app and see at the bottom it says earn seven when you spend 20 on select blah, blah, blah products. If you see that tag, you know you're picking up the right items. And then in store, you would definitely open up your Walgreens app, scan whichever nice brand, Walgreens brand items if you want to do it in store, get your basket to 20 and you can make it happen. But um, any which way you want to do it, guys, make it happen. Okay, so do this deal at your discretion. Um, the Pop-Tarts are three for five. So for this deal, you're going to grab um, three of them for exactly $5 on the nose. I say to do it at your discretion because I know a lot of you are boycotting Kellogg's at this time. So if this is not a deal for you, I would definitely pass um, if it doesn't line up for you. I bought us giving back a dollar when you buy two of these. Um, I know that in our household, my husband loves to have these as a snack and he's always looking for them. So yeah. Um, grabbing three of them for five, pay that or roll five bucks in Walgreens cash, whatever you may have. And then photograph your receipt to Ibotta for a dollar back when you buy two. It makes it four dollars for the three or a dollar thirty three per box, which is a very cheap price point. And it is okay to use Walgreens cash if you're doing this deal with no booster or alternatively a register reward if you might have one. Now, last week I made a video on um, clearance, CoverGirl makeup, and there were very high value Ibotta rebates. Those Ibotta rebates apparently floated back into many people's accounts that weren't able to do the deal last week. It started happening yesterday afternoon-ish, so you might want to check that out. You might be able to line up a very good deal with the 10 back when you spend 30 on cosmetics. Now, this is where I'm getting a bit turned around. I did this deal on Sunday where I got back 3,000 points from Fetch for biting, buying a vitamin deodorant. And I thought I could do it more than once, but I can't find the rebate anymore in my app. Is your rebate gone as well? If you can let me know in the comments down below. If you're going to do this deal, double, triple check that you have this rebate in your Fetch app to make this deal happen.
We're going to grab two of these Dove Vitamin Care deodorants. Uh, they are $8 each, and they're on a promotion of a $4 register reward when you buy two of them. It's a new product. It seems really interesting. They have a whole bunch of different scents and uh, an interesting product, too. We currently have a $4 digital, plus um, Shopmium also has a $4 rebate, so you can apply for that as you're buying two. Grabbing uh, two of these, it's going to be $16 on the nose. Subtracting your one digital, you're going to pay $12. Get back one $4 register reward and then four bucks back from Shopmium. And then is Fetch giving back that $3, yay or nay? If it's not, I would pass on this. Um, it makes it a dollar for two or 50 cents per deodorant, which is very cheap considering they're usually like very expensive. And it is okay to use Walgreens Cash if you're doing this deal with no booster. But I'm really excited to use this. I'm a big fan of native deodorant, so I think this is kind of like... Dove's attempt at native deodorant. It looks at something like that. The next super duper deal is with the Garnier Fructis or the whole blend priced two for eight. We could get it as low as 50 cents this week over at Walgreens. Here's the tag for those of you that are like, I need to see the tag. Here it is. Um, and I'm also going to let you know if you want to do both the Fructis and the whole blends, do them in two separate transactions. And these are the coupons that you'll load a three off two for the Fructis. And we also have a three off a of two for the whole blends part of a deal of the week. So with that, the register reward will only print once. So if you were going to buy all four in one transaction, only one register reward would print for you. So do the whole blends in one transaction and the fruit teas in one transaction to get two register rewards. Okay, so here's the math for this one. Grabbing two of the fruit teas, we'll use the fruit teas as an example. It's eight. Subtracting your digital coupon, you'll pay five. Get back a $4 register reward, making it a dollar for two or 50 cents per shampoo or conditioner and yes you can mix and match the shampoo and conditioner if you wish and it is okay to use Walgreens cash if you're doing this deal with no booster and remember if you were going to buy both the whole blends and the fruit teas two separate transactions to get those register rewards to print this is just a great clearance item if you can find it $3.79 for the six count of Scott we have a dollar digital coupon dropping this guy down to $2.79 if you love the Scott um paper towel. Now they are changing the packaging to this weird four count and look at my hand in comparison to those rolls. My goodness gracious, they are tiny and I do not have big man hands. They're not hamburger helper mitts and like my hand like dwarfs it. So they are teeny tiny. We're probably gonna have to start buying the Walgreens brand paper towel. The last deal that you absolutely should do this week is with the Colgate products. Grab one brush and one paste priced at $4 each. Load the following digital coupons that include a $2 off of the paste and a $2 off of the brush. Or alternatively, depending what that, that mouthwash is, you could potentially get that. Um, so here's the math for this one. Um, two of those products is $8 on the nose. Subtracting $4 in digitals, you're going to pay 4 Get back a $4 register reward, making it free. And it is okay to use Walgreens Cash if you're doing this deal with no booster. The last store that we're going to touch on is the Dollar General. There is a 40 count of the Snuggle dryer sheets for exactly $2. Sorry, um, it was in a different spot. Um, I photographed the wrong one. We have a dollar twenty-five digital, making it seventy-five cents for a forty-count box. Scan the with your Dollar General app that that digital coupon is still attaching because look what they did with Kleenex. But I was able to successfully do this yesterday afternoon. Seventy-five cents for a forty-count, not a bad price point. This is the definition of irony in the dollar spot over at the Dollar General. Look how many of these Kleenexes I found at one store. I mean, that's a lot. And I remember the last time this came around, where we were getting the free. Uh, Kleenex it took like it was really hard to find these and now they're like everywhere but we have no coupon okay so the first penny item that I found and a lot of people were saying this was an older penny I don't know I found three of them in that regular like kids coloring word search area and this is the UPC you guessed it one cent I found three of them yesterday and I was pretty delighted I'm really looking for any sort of like crosswords or coloring books on um, this sort of stuff and then in the regular um, Easter section these Ghirardelli squares I think they just put them back out and um, guess what this is actually a Christmas item and you guessed it it rang up a cent screenshot I, sh I just shot a video for Instagram here but if you screenshot um, this barcode, um, type it in, 
the Dollar General app, it should be bringing up a penny. I mean, that was a really cool find. Last weekend, if you follow my Instagram, you know that I was at uh, many Dollar Generals kind of out of control. Um, I didn't spend like, you know, 15 hours at every store, but I was looking specifically for pennies on top of my 5 off 25 shopping haul. So um, if you guys want to know exactly how I'm finding some of these items, I can make another video on uh, just more tips and tricks because I found 34 and a lot of these are very old pennies, but I'm still finding them. So a couple new uh, hacks and tricks that I have that's uh, becoming pretty amazing because I'm able to find so much. And I'm pretty sure if you're looking in the right areas, you might be able to find just as much. Let me know in the comments down below if you want this sort of video in the future, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!